So we actually look a little bit differently than a lot of other organizations. We're not looking for a specific skill set or background. We're much more focused around the overall aptitude, the creativity, the resourcefulness, the, um, the go-getterness, if that's a real word, uh, for, uh, for the student. So we are looking for the smartest people we can possibly find, and then we know that we can teach those people anything that we need in particular for our job. So uh, we're looking a lot for engineering students, obviously software programmers, but it doesn't matter the actual language that you programmed in, because most students actually learn in Java and C. We don't happen to use either of those, but we know that you know we can teach those. The important thing is getting the person who is just really uh, you know resourceful, creative, um, you know, uh, a quick learner, quick study. Um, I, I also think a little bit I, to, pre to prepare a little bit for that. I would say that you should do a little bit of thinking about what you really want to do, what you enjoy. Um, a lot of times, people come up to us with very vague. I don't know what I want to do, I kind of want a job. And that's just difficult for us because we have so many opportunities available in our company, there's so many directions you can go. It's really helpful to have just done a little bit of preliminary thinking about what, what makes you excited and what, what it is drives you. You should be, you're interviewing the company as much as they're interviewing you. Best ways to prepare uh, you know, as, a, as an engineer, if you're interested in getting into to software or systems, if you just set something up at home yourself, set up a database, set up a web server on your laptop, it doesn't matter how much RAM you have, you can run this stuff, set up something open source and just play around with it. You know, set up a little website, even if only you can hit it from your computer, it'll give you such a valuable sort of view of what, what really is involved. And it, it honestly would impress me more in an interview than saying that you did an internship where you were a small part of a big team. If you actually built something on your own and experienced all the difficulties that go along with troubleshooting that and getting it up and running.